today. Yes, it is. We've got to go to Costco. And you guys, I'm doing sword play now in Tai Chi. And I'm getting measured for my sword on Wednesday. Uh-oh. Come on, you guys. <laughs> Let's get this day started. Hey everyone, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. This month, Harry and I are doing a Lose Your Weight and Feel Great April Challenge. And Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday, yes you guys, when I first did this, I forgot Sunday until somebody asked me about it. So I redid it. It is an eat all your food in a four hour eating window. So you get to choose which eating window you want depending on if you are day, swing, or graveyard kind of person. And then you wanna eat plenty of your protein. Eat up to three tablespoons full fat such as butter, ghee, coconut oil, MCT oil, extra virgin olive oil, tallow, bacon grease, or lard. Stop eating before 7 p.m. Take a walk, lift some weights, and move your body. Now, you guys, you can use bone broth as your lever anytime, but you want to be sipping on it. So, several people ask me, well, do you drink your bone? How do you drink your bone broth? Do you let it just get cold or whatnot during the day? Well, I'm going to share something. Let me grab it real quick. A lot of folks have asked me, how do I keep my bone broth warm? You can get a tumbler that is insulated like a Stanley tum tumbler that we have coming that we're gonna use specifically for our hot beverages that keep things hot for at least nine hours. Or you can get this nifty little inexpensive plug-in and they have them that plug in the car uh, cigarette lighter too that are actually cups that you can plug in, right? That are electric. This is a tea uh, warmer. And I have this uh, from work. You can leave it on your desk, keep your coffee hot, keep your tea hot, keep your bone broth warm. Um, so there's several different ways to do this. I actually use this just to warm my base coat and my top coat of my Sistico product so that it's really thin so I can do my nails. I know I'm really getting into it. I could probably open a salon with everything I bought to do my nails. Oh my God. But I love them. Yes, I do. So anyway, you can set this next to you and plug it in. Or you can, like I said, get the one that plugs into your car cigarette lighter holder and um, have it in there or you can buy a mug that's electric or a mug that is insulated. So either way is up to you. I don't mind it just getting cold and sipping it. Um, it didn't bother me at all. I start with it as hot and then work my way as it gets cold, but it's up to you. But we're yeah, not I, don't, I don't mind it cold that much. On our fasting days and our fasting not eating time, anytime we're not eating, we're fasting, correct? So in a four hour window, if you wake up in the morning, you're not a coffee or a tea person, have a cup of broth. Start your day with a cup of broth. You can always have broth. If you're starving, you're up really late at night, have a cup of broth. Been there. We are using broth as our tool, our lever, our tool of choice. Yes, we are. So I wanted to answer that. Now, someone said, aren't you breaking your fast if you're having bone broth. If you use it as a lever and you're sipping it, supposedly, and I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, I'm not a medical practitioner, reading all the books, Dr. Kellyanne, you know, um, Dr. Boz, uh, Dr. Jason Fung, and so many others, is if you need to do something besides dry fasting on a, on a long fast, you can either use water or you can use bone broth, but you're sipping it, right? You're not having enough calories to re have an insolent response to it. So it's up to you, but I would, especially in the beginning, I would drink the bone broth. Yes, I would. So anyway, you guys, I'm dressed for success because I just got back from Tai Chi. Yes, I did. Um, it was a little chilly this morning, so I wore my shirt, but we did sword practice again, and I have decided I love playing with swords. 
<laughs> yes, I do. But if you learn the sword work, you can pretty well grab a, a stick, uh, a sword. You can pretty well defend yourself with it. And I can get belted what do you in mean, it, like, like martial gonna, arts. Like people carry swords around with them all the time? No, but I'm just saying, I may, I don't know. I may be the one with the sword. You just grab a stick. You know, a sti that's why I just said. You can have a stick. Right. You can use a garden tool. You can use a rake. If you learn the movements. So I'm going Wednesday night to... Master Lee's class, who's the owner of the dojo, and I'm going to get measured for a sword. Now, the sword is not a real sword, but it is a oh, thank you. it's a specific sword that is used. You know, it's going to be plastic and very lightweight to learn the movements because we're slicing basically and we're slicing and dicing with it and doing the martial arts movements with that. I'm going to get you a t-shirt. And, it, when and you... it needs to have, they have t-shirts. Uh, the bloodletting will commence. No. And then you're using your um, hilt too, right? As part of it. So then I can move into double knives after that. But I really liked that. And I can't tell you how unbalanced I was. I'm a left-handed, dominant, dominant, unbalanced, 70-year-old woman going into Tai Chi probably a year ago now, mm -hmm. almost. Oh, yeah. And I could not lift my leg and do a kick, right? Because we do we do specific kicks and things. And we, we come up, right? We do different moves where you're, you're one-legged. Could not do it, and now I can. And my stride has changed back to a normal, not a hip, gimp, limp that I used to have. Um, because of all the three hip surgeries, mm -hmm. three knee surgeries on my right side. And it's very right-sided, so I decided to learn right-handed. Um, I do the fan movements right-handed, and I'm going to do the sword right-handed. I do my mouse right-handed, and I switch hit baseball right-handed. And being a left-handed person growing up in a right-handed person's world, I kind of became switch hitter, and I want to learn right-handed. So it's a little harder for me to think about the movements and how to move my right hand because... I think I think upside down or something crazy when I'm doing it, but I'm very excited about it, well, you guys. And I, I know it's silly, but it's it's the movements and the actions, and you don't think you are getting a workout, but it's like yogurt. These are very controlled, very slow movements that you can speed up once you've learned. The, the proper movements and how to protect every time you're protecting yourself with the other arm, whichever arm it is, and with your legs and your body, right? So I'm learning those things. So I'm very excited. Yeah, it's and when he memory. said, I didn't know I could get belted from these classes. So that would be cool to do. I would, I'm, I'm very intimidated about standing in front of Master Lee and going through, you have to learn all oh, the 24. Is it 24 movements? Anyway, it's a lot of movements. And it's taken me a long time just to learn and trip through some of the Tai Chi regular uh, Dong Huang uh, movements because of my not being able to lift my leg or do any of the, the side kicks as we're coming out and we're, we're breaking your ankle. You know, we're breaking your knee with our kicks and stuff. So there's side kicks and forward kicks and lifts and all kinds of stuff. So I'm very excited. I know you guys think I'm crazy, but I'm excited. You know, you never know. You never know when I'll need it. So that's the nice thing. And even if you don't use a sword or have anything in your hands, you're learning martial arts. So that's the good Great thing. Great exercise program. It is. And at the same time, you're learning, learning how to balance, protect yourself. Protection, uh, movement, control muscle control so felicia and i and it's good my daughter has for those of you who are new she is a third she's on her third pacemaker at 46 and she has really bad heart issues and she has um so for her to be able to go and do something that doesn't absolutely raise her heart rate um, is really really good and that's great exercise so I just wanted to share that with everybody but I'm excited so I'm gonna go Wednesday night Harry's gonna go with me yes he is because he may even be interested in doing the sword play yeah. we'll be out there doing our sword play so I need, I need a refresher course on knife 
Yeah, in well, 40, I, 40 some years. I will eventually get to the knives. Can you see me at 90 years old taking my sword out of my cane? How dare you, young man? That's right. <laughs> I always wanted one of those. When I had a cane, because Harry bought me one that is initialed, it's, it's monogrammed because I was on a cane for years and we thought that was going to be my life. Can you imagine having one twisting it and pulling out your, your cane? Of course, if we're in a gunfight, I'm going to pull out my, you know, how that goes. But anyway, you guys think I'm crazy and I probably am, but it has really helped. And Harry even said he can tell when I'm walking oh, yeah. that I have a normal stride now. Uh, I would say 99% of the time um, and not limping anymore. Be, and I think, I truly believe it's the Tai Chi because I'm strengthening oh, both sides. It's an even distribution as you're moving and you go one way and then you go the other way and then you go forward and then you go backwards and you're doing it. All. So you're moving your whole body. And you can start with Tai Chi in a chair. And there are so many YouTube channels that have chair yoga, chair Tai Chi for seniors or for uh, people that have... Um, limited mobility and uh, you don't think it's hard till you start doing it and then you're going wow I didn't know I couldn't lift my leg I didn't know I couldn't do this that or the other thing so anyway just wanted to share that hey so many of you guys are telling us you've lost weight already yes yes I am so proud and so excited we're gonna um, come back later today and I'll read a couple because I'm very very excited but you guys speaking of losing weight Yes, indeed. Uh, I had a whoosh early on, I, but I did lose four tenths eating. Harry went down two tenths. He went down to 188.8. And uh, so we're very excited that we're eating and we're losing. And then tomorrow is going to be the big shift where we are. Uh, no, tomorrow's Monday. Yeah. Today's Sunday. So today is Monday for everybody. I had to think about that. Today's Sunday. So today is Monday. We always share the next day and we're on it with you when you see this. So I sometimes get confused. So we're getting ready for our Tuesday 24 hour fast day. Let me tell you, there are no losers when starting to learn how to fast. However long you can go without food and in a fasting state, the more you are enabling your body to go through autophagy, which means you're uh, going through eating up and utilizing the old damaged cells. You're cleaning house and you're creating new ones. So if you are doing it for the very first time and you can only go 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Strive for the, another hour the next time you do it, then another hour. You know, push yourself so that you can go to 24 hours on a fast if you have never done one. Don't come out of the gate hating it. yourself because you only made it to 18 hours on your very, very, very first fast, That's right? That's great if you can that. Do is that is fabulous. It's a win-win <laughs> for whatever, however length of time you go on your fast up to the 24-hour mark. So magic happens at the 24-hour mark, but learning how to fast is the most important thing. Yes, dear? I think... Uh, for me, though, uh, I, when you start to fast, um, it's it's difficult in the beginning, especially if you've been eating any foods. Sad diets. It's yeah, very hard. Yeah, if you've been eating sad diets, it's going to be really difficult. So the broth is really a good tool. Right. and But if you've been eating really good, uh, kind of a keto diet, it's a little easier. Yes. Um, because you're not fighting with sugars as much, you know. Correct. And, and so it's real easy to get going on it. But... If you can just like do the first day and do like, you know, well, gosh, if you could do 12 hours the first time and then add another hour on afterwards, that's pretty much what kind of we did. Yes. And worked our way up to the 20 and then the 24. And you'll find out how easy it is after you've done that. You don't want to just bam, times. do 24. I think that's, oh my gosh. Right. Like I said, go yeah, that's for as hard. long. Set a goal. 12 hours, 14 hours, 16 hours, whatever your goal is, try to hit that goal. And then the next time you fast, you purposefully fast on a fasting day, 
right? You want to you want to push yourself to the next hour or the next two hours, however far you can push yourself. So just wanted to share that. Anyway, you guys, I have got to get undressed. I leave my um, Tai Chi, my shoes, because we have to have special shoes for the mats that we're on. They stay in the car in a bag. So I've got to get dressed, get changed, and get cleaned up, and then we'll come back because it's already 1257. We have a four-hour eating window. So we're gonna, it looks like we're going to be closer to the 5 p.m., end time and we've got lots to do today so you guys let me go get dressed let me come back and let me make something to eat because today we get to eat it's a four hour eating window so i need to make the best of it coffee 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 <sighs> waffle 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 waffles i'm having waffles and coffee you guys and i have the fruity cereal, I want to try it, and I have one and a half packets. Harry said, I want more than two waffles, yeah. so I'm going to make a little bit more. Um, so basically, I always, I like, now you can do chaffles with mozzarella cheese and eggs. There's a bazillion recipes out there. I like my waffles like waffles. So I am doing uh, cream cheese. And I'm doing two ounces of cream cheese. And this is the light, one third less fat cream cheese because we only get, uh, we get a limited amount of fat uh, on our protocol. So this is the light Philadelphia cream cheese, the one third less. And then I think I'm gonna use six eggs, Harry, so we get a little bit more. Yeah. Because I'm using a half, one and a half packages of keto chow. One eight of them. And now, if you don't have, you don't want, you don't like keto chow, use your favorite protein powder, a scoop or a serving of it, and make it your way. You can use the beef, you can use Equip beef uh, based, you can use keto chow core beef based. You can use whichever one you like the best that works best for you and then add flavoring. But I want to try the fruity cereal because I think it's going to be rich, creamy, sweet, and delicious. And I've got the um, organic maple flavored RX sugar brand. And it's basically organic allulose, organic maple flavor, organic caramel color. And this is the ingredients. Allulose is supposed to be very good for us and animals can have it too, so I don't worry about Sally having a piece of chaffle. Anyway, you guys, um, let me get, ooh, that was really close. I want to have my um, cream cheese softened, so I'm gonna put this in here for a couple seconds, about 25 seconds, just to get it softer. I'm gonna crack some eggs. This is like really super duper easy. You need a trash can? No, I'm gonna put it in this bowl. We have to get eggs today when we go to Costco. We're gonna go to Costco, you guys, and we'll bring you along with us. I need some things, uh, some staples. Four, five, oops, there's a piece of shell. Five, six, actually I'm gonna make seven. I'm gonna put seven in here. They're probably gonna be a little bit eggier, but that's what I'm using. Seven of those, let me put this away, wash my hands real quick. I always get eggs on my fingers because I stick my fingers in the shell, which is not a good thing to do because that's how I make it so that I can't. Now I know how to get the egg yolk out from the egg, right, Harry? Yep. What's, oh, my cream cheese. Oh, I am so excited, you guys. I know it's weird, but. Hey, I got a question for you. Yes? You said yesterday because I think you forgot. You're going to show a cowboy secret. I have to show that later today, but thank you for reminding me. I forgot. And you're right. I need to share. So, take your cream cheese and your eggs and whip them. Okay. 
Now, okay. I'm gonna put one and a half packets of my keto chow in this one. If you were gonna do it just a package of keto chow or one serving, I would just use four eggs. That's just me and that's enough for two people to have a nice meal. Mom loved chaffles. She loved chaffles. She loved everything sweet. That yeah, must yeah. have been where I got it all from. Probably. If she wouldn't eat during the day, she would always eat ice cream, keto chow ice cream. And she loved her chaffles, didn't she, Harry? Yep. She And she would eat the whole thing. Yep. It was harder for her to eat meat because she had a huge hyenal hernia. And the doctors wouldn't do surgery because she was too old and it was too big. Let me get some water over here. Just measuring just a blop at a time of water. And then I want to put some cinnamon in. Ceylon is the best. You want to be careful with cinnamon because cinnamon isn't always real cinnamon. Like most cinnamon. Mm -hmm. That's like honey. You got to be careful. It's like uh, uh, extra virgin olive oil. People are counterfeiting. What's that? Five, six. It's English toffee. Six drops. You know what I'm going to use? The emulsion blender. Yeah, it's easier works. for it's me. Easier. You don't, have to, you don't have to use your hand. Let me get that real quick. An emulsion blender is much easier. It's like when I do my Cystico nails. I bought a inexpensive Dremel, nail Dremel, and I bought very soft emery boards. And I use it very carefully just to take the top off my nails because you're supposed to take an emery board and just rough the top up. I just use that instead and it goes by so much faster. And yeah, it but you don't hurt. go down to your nails. No, I don't. And I don't hurt my wrist either. Oh, this needs way more water. So much nicer. Easier, faster. Yeah, I used about a quarter of a cup of water. Take this over to the sink. You want it to be the consistency of pancake batter, waffle batter, right? I don't want it too thick and I don't want it too thin. I want it the consistency of a good waffle batter because I want waffles. That's what I want. See? Cake batter, waffle batter. It's gonna be delicious. I'm excited. You wanna preheat your waffle iron, woo! And I love these spoons. You can get these at the dollar store. You want a spoonful, you do not wanna overfill. Cause it will ooze everywhere. Yeah, it'll go every place. It's. It's crazy how much they overflow. Yeah, they grow. It really grows. big. I guess that's the egg, huh? I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know if it's the keto chow or what, but they're delicious. That's all I know. Okay, we're going to close this up, let it steam, and we will be back in a few minutes when we have fruity cereal keto chow waffles or high protein waffles using your protein powder and the flavor of your choice. See you guys in just a minute. Okay, I smell chaffles. You can usually smell when they're done. Ho, 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 yeah. yeah. Look at that, ooh. Look at that, you guys. That's, Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm -mm. Yes, yes indeedy. We've got waffles. Mm. Man, this smell good. And you guys, the batter is delicious. Oh yeah. Isn't it, Harry? Yeah. It was delicious. We bought some of those little round ones. 
you know, the little the dash, dash minis. ones. Those it will be freaking crazy. Well, Chalice took them. Took so long to she make something. She wanted them, so. This is probably going to leak out, but I need to put a little, put this. Someplace. Carefully. Well, that one at the bottom right has hardly any. Do you think so? Yeah. Mmm, okay. That's going to be the smallest one. It's going to be the runt. It is. Well, maybe not. Not now. Now the one up top right needs some. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> okay, you guys, come back. When we plate the rest of these, we put about a tablespoon of butter and some um, maple flavored sugar free syrup on them, and we head to the table for breakfast. What's going on, Wendy? Hey, it's Susan. You said, oh, the back one needs more. Uh-uh. No, it doesn't. Here, let me put some butter on uh, these while they're hot. And I want to just use a little bit. About a teaspoon on each, I think. Yeah, not too much. Mm -mm. Just to give it enough for the... Uh, enough fat for the... For the vitamins in the keto chow. Because it is keto chow, and we want to make use of the vitamins when we, when we can. And uh, you've got six egg yolks in here, so you really do have enough fat. But I like a little bit of butter on my waffle. What? I like a little bit of butter on my waffle. Don't you? Oh, yeah. But, you know, I, right now, I'm looking at everything, you know. Because we're in the weight loss mode of this whole thing. So. Right. You have to think a little differently. Well, two, we don't want more than three tablespoons a day because we want to use the fat from our body, not from the fat we eat, to be working for us. There we go. Man, my nose is going crazy. It was so windy last night, too. Uh, wasn't it, dear? Yep. Sally didn't want to How's the other outside. side look? The other side is fine. It always seems to be this side. That's the side I was talking about. Which side? It's the other side. No, you weren't. The one in no. the front, right there. Right here, it's... No, on the other corner. It's oozing That's out. That's the one I it's said is really oozing. small. It's, well, look, it's oozing out that side, too. Hardly a, a little bit, though. Harry's got some cleaning to do. That's right. Put a napkin on the side, because you think you don't have enough batter. If you think you've got enough, you've got too much. Yep. That's pretty much the rule of thumb in our house. Yeah. Come back when we have waffles, you guys. Let's go under. Let me take this off for Sally. Let me give her more than that. Uh, uh, she's got a little plate full. She's got waffles going on, man. Waffles are very hot. Secret to a great griddle is do not spray these with oil. Oh gosh, don't ever spray them with anything. The minute you do, anything. they get very sticky. They get sticky, dirty, harder to clean. Well, at least uh, that has been our experience. I mean, I'm not the expert in any of that, but yeah. We've ruined pans because of adding a spray to a non-stick surface, and mm -hmm. it really gums up the works. Yeah, you get micro bumps. Yep, Harry says micro bumps. A little tablespoon, teaspoon, excuse me. Just a smidge, just a smidgen. Sorry I'm sniffling. But like I said, we were out in the lovely weather. Oh, this one's going to go downhill. I can tell. Just fill up the holes. Yep. Do like Lori had to do. Just mm -hmm. eat the holes, Lori, of the waffles, my sister. For those of you who don't know, growing I, up. I know. I have found that hilarious ever since we first she met. She tried so hard to eat just the holes. Oh yeah, check it out. Waffles, and they smell sweet, vanilla, cinnamon. Anyway, you guys, gotta go eat now. Look at this, you guys. Look at this. Who says the ketogenic lifestyle is prohibitive and uh, 
you feel uh, like you can't have a lot of food because if this isn't deliciousness, I don't know what is. Now, this is the fruity cereal keto chow. It smells heavenly. Really does, doesn't it, Harry? Oh yeah. And they they taste and cut and look like waffles. So I'm calling them waffles because that's my waffle batter that I'm using. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, here we go, you guys. Look at that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. Yeah. I know, right? Oh, wow. Those make. You guys ever have Belgian waffles with strawberries with the malt and the vanilla in them? Oh, man. Oh, 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 I, yeah. I hope they make these things permanent. Mm. Oh, you won't let go. Ooh. I think you're right. You like them better than the banana? Mm-hmm. Seriously? Mm -hmm. That is some serious, delicious oh, man. waffles. Those are, like, delicious. I can't talk right now. You got to eat? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Banana was my favorite. Waffles and pancakes. This is better. No, I'll be I, the judge of that. I'm, for me, this makes a fabulous waffle. Oh my gosh. Put some ice cream between those two. Freeze them and have ice cream waffle sandwiches. Isn't it crazy how, they, how it tastes? <sighs> tastes so good. Man, heaven.